Button, aka the King of Trainers. Welcome to another special episode of Together with Aless podcast. I have some very special guests today, and we're going to be discussing the Aless Tanker Design final finalists um, and picking a winner from each category. So I want to first start um, with a lady who has um, who was one of the design council. Um, and she designed an amazing shoe. She is a sneaker connoisseur. Um, Julia, sneak queen, welcome. Hi, thank you for having me. Hey. So I'm Julia, also known as sneaker queen. I'm a freelance photographer from Berlin. And uh, as uh, Franklin already said, I'm a sneaker lover and collector. And uh, I was lucky enough to be part of that design council by Les. Nice one, nice one. No, thank you so much. Okay, secondly, we have another um, fine lady who I've known for a number of years, very hard working stylist in the game. Um, the one and only Coco Mel. Hi, <laughs> thank you everyone. Um, I'm Coco, as Franklin said, freelance stylist as well as um, content creator as well, uh, an all round creative. Um, I work out of London and yeah, thank you for having me. Ah, appreciate you, appreciate you. And last but not least, someone I've known for a number of years. Um, the, the triple OG of OGs of the sneaker game, sneak connoisseur, radio personality, and all round great guy, the one and only Kish Cash. Oh man, thanks, Franklin. Yo, good to be on here, yo. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's uh, being part of the design council, and uh, it's, it's a true privilege. Um, I've seen some great stuff. I mean, you, you, I mean, Julia, you really made me up my game, and Franklin, you definitely did. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, Coco will get her in on the next round. No, you know what I mean? yeah. yeah, she's she's got flavor too. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I can't wait for the world to see what we've all created together. I mean, Franklin, yo, what you've already done, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, it's, it's, it's hard body, all right? Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, you know, I've seen what Julia's done, and I don't yeah. know if she shared it out yet, but it's, it's oh, actually, yeah. And I've seen Julius. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, mentioned, I mentioned it. I mentioned it in, in the last podcast. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, stop. no. I want to say, I want to say a massive thank you to you guys. You know, I know that you know things. <laughs> we put things together very quickly, at it. So, um, what we're going to do today is we are going to look through the finalists of the design competition sent to us by LS, um, and we're going to kind of pick the go through. You know. So um, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you guys the finalists and then we're going to kind of look. There is actually um, one winner. There's going to be, so the special, sorry, the good news is, um, the special announcement is, there's actually going to be not just one winner amongst the whole team, there's going to be five winners. Yeah, there's going to be five individual winners and they've, they've done it in different categories. So we're going to be um, looking at each category, discussing the design, and then at the end, we'll pick a winner for each category. Yeah? All right. Cool. All good? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So let me share my screen. Okay, cool. So we have the Design Council Tanker finalists. The Tanker shoe um, was a, uh, a tennis trainer, for those of you who don't know. Um, it released in about, is it 82, right? Am I correct? Um, yeah. And it was the shoe that was used by the members of the Design Council to design their, um, their shoes. Um, and then um, during this um, lockdown, um, a way that LS wanted to inspire and people to get their creative juices going is they allowed the community, anyone can participate to design their own shoe. So these are the finalists and the categories that we're going to go through right now. And there's five categories, right? There's five categories. So we, we each can pick a winner from each category. So we can choose a category and pick a winner, or we can just say this is the best in that category. Um, and then we, we pick an overall winner for the play category, the first category. Yeah? Okay. Cool. You ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So group one, brand play. Yeah? So these are people who played on the brand. Okay. So we're going to start off with number one is... Uh, Ooh, Avon fresh. Rastra. Yeah. So this is his one. Um, yeah. Dope design. What do you guys think? Well, that's some uh, less DNA, I would say. Definitely. <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. It's vibrant. It's playful. Yo, they're neck snapping, and it's yeah. got a gum sole as well. And for me, that's a win. 
to it. Same yeah. here. I think it definitely pays homage to the brand, like mm. super clear, like it's distinctive. If you don't see like the branding on the side and the tongue, the colorway alone, I'd be like, that's a less, like straight off the bat. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So Yes. And I think it's really clever how the toe box works as uh, the logo, actually, with the orange in the middle and uh, uh, mm. the mud, go mud garden red. Yeah. That's right. No, yeah. That's, 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 that's so dope. His inspiration was, um, the inspiration for the shoe um, is a vintage, is the vintage 80s and 90s big logo and big board um, clothing. I wanted the shoe to pay homage to the classic logo from red and orange on the toe box to the navy linear um, liner, sorry. Even with the big big logo on the side, the shoe has a retro feel, but still wearable today. Mm, yeah, dope, dope. You know, big up Pav. Um, yeah, very great illustrative. Cold. That's cold. Yeah. yeah. Totally yeah, agree. Yeah, so it's Pav. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, okay. Um, so next one. Yep. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Okay, so this is... Ooh. Okay. By Ayigas uh, D. D. S. K. Um, what's your thoughts, guys? That's very clever because it's the LS logo but blocked out on the side I'm of the shoe. Mm. For know. me, it's kind of a nighttime version of the model before, like a nighttime going night out day. version. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. What, what you know, speaking saying that, Julie, speaking of nighttime, I remember um, um, Cali Vegas said that. Um, one of the, this was like the shoe, it was a nighttime shoe. You can wear it in the day and go into the club as well. So this design definitely is the epitome of, of that. Um, Coco, what you, what's your thoughts? Yeah, I think it's, my eyes automatically, the black just makes it pop like no other. Then the gray just softens it nicely because it's mm. quite like a harsh and bold, like bold color play. Um, do you know what fabric? The, like the upper is is it kind of like a suede or is it just like a true leather like what's the yeah i don't i think i don't know if they gave their their, their, their inspiration you know some of them they just they they just, they uh, just bang out the design bang the designs out yeah so um it's funny that you say it though with the material because i instantly also thought that must have been or that should be a suede uh, all over upper that's what i thought i think a leather it wouldn't really kind of like land as strong yeah. but like, i think like, the soul the sole detail um, is really cool. The how they've kind of like integrated the color play on the sole of the shoe, so you're still getting that that kind of vibrancy throughout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They pop hard. They really pop hard. That's a great job. It really is. Mm -hmm. well, I just, I just love you know going back to what I said. I just love how the LS logo is actually just boom exploded like that on the shoe, and um, I think that's that's pretty clever. That's very very clever indeed. Don't. And from a trend point of view as well, this is super on trend. The mm. spring, not that we've had much spring summer, but in terms of like the whole kind of color play, it plays into the sunset colors. So yeah. the like the bold reds and then the really kind of like strong supporting oranges as well. So in terms of a trend, it's there. Cool. Yeah, I also agree, and I think this would be kind of the sportiest version of a dress shoe. I would accept. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, I think it's dope. I think the colors play work well. Um, yeah, no, it's a, it's a dope, dope shoe. Um, okay, cool. Next one, we'll move on swiftly. Um, okay, so this is by... Clean. Okay. So, he done a 3D mock-up. Okay, wow. That's wow. impressive. Yeah. It looks like, like there's little characters, isn't it? Yeah. Like, yeah. they've yes. got little legs and eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's I quite like that, actually. I like the playfulness about it, that you have this yeah. kind of comic uh, or... or Sketchy kind of atmosphere, yeah, but still an all all over white sneaker. I mean, I'm I'm a sucker for white sneakers, so this <laughs> is really it comes it comes out really yeah. clean and sunny. I think. Yeah, for it is plain, so it it, it definitely the minimalism. Is. The minimalism allows those characters to pop out, mm -hmm. and it's a great again again. It's another great play on the LS logo as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I I was about to say that also. Actually, the logo actually pops out much more because of that uh, side play of of, of that uh, visualization on the side. I know how you know when you watch Celebrity Master Chef or when you watch Master Chef and you're seeing how the judges have to like go, oh yeah, this, and they have yeah. to choose between between them. It's very tight indeed. This is an exceptional yeah. caliber of uh, of executions that we're seeing right now. Brand play, first design, yes on yeah or nay. For I me, this it. is my favorite. This is my favorite too. <laughs> Not for me. Not for you. Okay. Okay. Guys. 
Okay. So like, I love the detail that they've put in it because I'm a detail kind of person. I like the mock up and the write up, but oh. I, yeah, I, I don't think personally that it's quite there. Okay. Yay or nay? That's Coco's yeah. favourite. <laughs> 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 I could call that already. Uh-huh. You know what she was going on about that shoe, like oh. this and this and that and this. I was like, okay. Yeah, Coco, nah, this one. Really and then that one they fight on. The thing is, all three of them are so good. I, I think I wish all three could win. I really, I'd wear all three. So do, I'd so rock all I. three. Oh, yeah, so would I. Um, but okay, so Coco, you want this one? Um, yeah. And then this one, yay or nay, guys? I mean, I it's, dog, it's it's the it's it's still it's still Pab's one up top for me. Okay. For me also. Yeah. Well, I guess that kind of Franklin. Mine, I I would say I would say Pav to be honest. The only reason why is because he gave a full yeah. inspiration. Like, I'm looking at it, what the work he put in. Not saying that other, the other guy didn't put in the work. Um, that's mm-hmm. a very good design. But you can see he done, he went a bit above, above and beyond. So he done the mock-up, he done the actual CAD, he done the inspiration. And that, yeah. that for me, definitely, definitely takes it. I, I, won't, I won't argue, guys. Not only am I outnumbered, but as mm-hmm. I said, as a detail person, I can definitely appreciate the the level that's gone into this so no yeah. I'm cool sorry. okay so we have our first winner for brand play um it is pav i would say pav i won't try to pronounce this yeah, let's, pav. Pav. Pav pav let's, give, let's give him a round of applause guys well done okay. guys cool well, pav one. First, first one okay good stuff group two culture okay so we have our first design Woo. This is my submission for the Less um, Design Council Home Initiative. This is my design. I call it the Metro Navigator, built for those who walk the streets, those who get A to B, the feet while navigating the city, inspired by the train graffiti, by music, by industry, by curves, the building structures, by things visible in the metros um, for urban culture. What's your thoughts, guys? Those are cold. I'll let Kish go because I already, I already feel like I can angle. I saw the graffiti, so I know that's up yeah. his alley. Okay. <laughs> what are you saying? No, the <laughs> colours. Like, the colours. I mean, it's almost like a petrol blue. It's almost like grey, but it's, yo, know, the, the colours are amazing. I haven't actually seen anything of that ilk before. And the way those sort of, um, those sort of lime vault pops come through and then the contrast with the sort of turquoisey teal laces as well and yeah the inflections the little tones and then you got the little orange pops as well to me that is a that is a dope shoe that's a very striking shoe and you know going back to what you said about cali vegas and the whole nighttime aspect of the shoe mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. you know these these drop hard yeah they don't i i agree for me this shoe is actually a reflection of uh, a rainy city at night because you have all these little plays of neon kind of things that you would have in the city reflecting on the black uh, uh, black streets when yeah. the rain, rain is on the when the streets are wet then you know, have all these lights from the city uh, reflecting and that's actually the feeling that I get when I look at the shoe and also I cannot quite make out what's going on there in the midsole but it's quite interesting yeah, yeah. and I like how these little neon uh, uh, colors just pop up but are still super subtle in the design. And I think petrol, that greenish, bluish color is a super difficult color to match. So yeah. I think uh, it's a great job here with the uh, fluorescent colors, the combination. Yeah, I think just from a point of difference, this definitely ticks all the boxes. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms of like what's, what's on the market right now, I haven't seen a colorway like this before. Mm-hmm. And that kind of like ombre fade, then with the solid pops of uh, teal and turquoise and the neon, um and then that little kind of it uh, looks graffiti-esque kind of in the midsole region yeah. i think it, yeah i think it's super on point as i said like for a fashion perspective it's all about power prints so this definitely plays into that kind of uh, that element and then the fact it's got the orange accents with the white freshness in it just yeah it does it for me for sure what about you franklin no i think it's dope i think it's dope i think it you know you can see that the um, illustrator put a lot of work into it you know and I think that's that's what I like. I like the thought, you know. With me, I'm a, I'm a concepts person, so the thought pattern that goes into it, I think it's I think it's really dope. Okay, so this is um, the next design in the culture. This colorway is inspired by the influence that outdoor clothing has on the streetwear scene in recent years. 
Everything from collaborations, the use of waterproof fabric and style have been influenced by raising popularity of practical wear. This sneaker features an assortment of muted neutral colors inspired by both nature hiking clothing and is paired with a bright safety orange accent in order to contrast against the sensible uniform color scheme. Yeah, I think you definitely can see uh, the hiking yeah. influence in this. Yeah. Um, for sure, you know for sure. It's got, it's got that green camo you like, Kish. <laughs> well, no, it's the, the, the blocking is amazing. The blocking is really good and the color palette is, is really on point. With uh, regards to when I when I first saw these, because obviously we've seen these before, um, before we did this podcast um, to sort of get familiar, mm-hmm. and I just saw I just saw these are just so cold. I mean, the thing is, you've got green and orange, and they complement each other. Then you've got that blue that just pops mm-hmm. through, but it's also the tones of blue that are the key thing here. Um, you know, anyone can put any sort of colours together, and, and hopefully it works. But the thing is. The colours that have been chosen and which accents and how it, how, how the silhouette just like sort of isn't shrouded. It, you can see it. You can actually appreciate all the different sort of elements that make this shoe up. And um, I like yeah, the fact I also that, your color color style in this this model. <laughs> yeah, you know th- these are hard and the little the little gum pops. Do you know what I mean? Like that's cool. So it isn't like a whole solid. It's 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 you know you, you can actually see the little teeth that are in play on that sole unit. And then, um, you know, you've got the little white panel on the side, which uh, breaks up the upper to the sole as well. And it gives, and it, gives it a little bit of space in that regard. Um, but yeah, and then you've got the little, um, the little white pop again on the, on the third lace hole. Um, so, you know, so the thing is, that also adds, because that's a little detail on this shoe that sometimes people miss. But you've got the D-ring there, and he's made the D-ring tonal. Mm. So you've got little things in play here that are really cool. And then the same thing for the logo on the heel. So the thing is, the way the shoe balances for me and the colours that are in play, these are a very striking concept indeed. Yeah. Wow. What I like, uh, what I like to add also is, uh, I don't know what you call this in English here, you know, I'm not a native English uh, speaking, but uh, you see on the last lace, there is like a, a metal, I don't know how you call yeah, it. Like oh, a hook yeah, yeah. that's... Um, that's a hiking thing. Hiking. So, oh, yeah. yeah, so Happy what day. I love about the shoe is that it has this little gimmick because I'm a sucker for um, not only releasing a shoe with a special uh, colorway, but also with the packaging. So packaging, I think 20, 30 years ago was so advanced compared to what we have today, of course, in the age of mass uh, um, mass production. But this is uh, details like that make me love a shoe more because it hints at a story behind it that you uh, instantly can see without reading anything about it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's I think for me, I think straight away just looking at the color play, it immediately reminds me of the green is like hillside, the blue is like water, and then like the white is just kind of like the freshness, kind of whether from like the clouds in the sky. And then the orange is straight away, I just think of like safety gear, like high vers, kind of like, you know, kind of like colorways and stuff. So I definitely like the story that it, that it kind of perceives. Um, for me personally, it's maybe a bit too muted, but I like what it, what it stands for. So no, I, I, think it, I think it's cool. Yeah, definitely. The thing, the thing that's around the lace, by the way, is the carabina. Carabina. Oh yeah, that's, I was saying that, that guys. <laughs> but I'm saying that. Yeah, I was saying, I said it about four times. Well, sorry. I'm sorry, oh, Coco. You, I was just going to what else you were saying, sorry, you know what I mean? Sorry, yeah, the Car- Carabina, yeah. I was like, oh, what is that? What is that? You know I, mean? I, I, got, I had to get up on Google just to be sure. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I didn't do the same thing either. <laughs> yeah, I saw you with the phone. <laughs> I think they did a, um, an amazing job. And they, they like I say, he, he, um, they um, done an illustration of the background as well. Um, that is the mountain range or something like that. And, you know, that's, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah. That's so dope. Agree. Okay. Um, this is done by Digital Religion UK. Um, the, I guess the inspiration is that jacket that is on the... On the right. On the right, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, that's mad because the thing is, I thought they were taking the inspiration from another LS piece. Totally, yeah. Yeah. Because they've got there's a there's an LS jacket and a hoodie that has got those sort of multiple colours in it. But yeah. either way, this is a, mm-hmm. this is a beautiful looking concept again. Yeah, and it marries up to the yeah. to the DNA of uh, LS 
and the, and the heritage of LS. Yeah. I'm surprised no, I, LS hadn't even done a shoe like this before. Yeah, I love it. I think the t- it, the mixture of colours it works. I think it looks dope. Yeah, I think what's interesting is that this totally taps in, of course, into the tie dye trend that we had over the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. And I mean, even now that tie dye has arrived at socks. I think this is uh, connecting to that uh, trend, yeah. obviously. And also, uh, like you said, Kish, uh, I also instantly thought about that women's jacket uh, that they produced. I mean, uh, a whole line, I think, uh, with these colorways. And this shoe would be just uh, the perfect match for, for these outfits, I actually. Oh, that jacket. They couldn't get me that jacket, man. Same here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's crazy. You know what I mean? But I think off the back of Julia's point, the whole kind of tie-dye thing at the moment, with everyone doing DIY, Especially, especially while being at home, I kind of think like in my in my mind immediately draws to that one. Looking at this, I think obviously what they've paired it with with the um, zip up track top obviously is a classic uh, at least piece. But yeah, I like it. It's like very kind of summer bright. I think it can be worn really well with like all white, like an all white look, just to keep it yeah. super clean. So the sneaker just does all the talking. Um, yeah, no, I like it. That would be that would be dope, Coco. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, all white and then just white. the shoe top. Woo! Fresh. Woo! Yeah. Beige cord, corduroy <laughs> pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. I mean, for me, I'm simple. Like, I, the concept's great. The colours yeah. work well. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, there's really nothing, you know. You guys are the experts. I'm just the host. You guys I are don't the know. Oh, Whatever, <laughs> man. For me, I, for me, I do feel like the designer could have pushed it a little bit more. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. it, it, element, it, this to me is still seems quite safe. And I yeah. just think you get this one opportunity to design a sneaker. For me, the little accents I feel that the other contestants had, I think this is missing. Like, little things like the laces, maybe don't do the same colour as the sneaker. Maybe do it in a black or do it in a white. You can just add, like, a point of difference. Do the eyelets kind of maybe you know, different colours or something just to kind of like amp up the design a little bit further. But all in all, like it's a clean, you know, clean design. It's a very clean design. The only thing I'd say about this one is I don't like the LS being in black on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I no, agree. I, w- I would have preferred um, either cool. removing the logo entirely because the, the, the tennis ball logo on the heel can do all the talking and on the tongue or they, they need to be white. Mm. Or metallic. Or metallic. Yeah, metallic, metallic silver could be cool. Yeah. That could be a good shout too. But um, I mean, the thing is, yeah, they, there's a concept like that, but then how do you make that into a reality as well? Um, I wish they'd explored that aspect a little bit more as well. Okay, wow. So this Ooh. is... Ooh, this is definitely a, a nighttime shoe. Um, yeah. Okay, let's... Wow, okay, so we've got the grey and the black, the nighttime shoe. And is this, uh, is this the same designer? But yeah, the same designer, yeah, same designer. So... Um, okay. Let this, me, might this be like yours, uh, um, uh, Franklin? One right, one I, left. One I don't. Oh, I don't know. say that. Is it going to be that, or is it going to be? Uh, yeah. Uh, let, let me read the inspiration. So it says, "These tangles are inspired by the classic style of sneakers of before. They are designed to last over time. They are the old school model of brand without losing any detail, with the use of reflective fabric, but in black, um, and then grey." Um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe it is. Um, it's it's a it's definitely some dope colorways. It is. Prob- I, imagine, I imagine it would have to be though, in order for both the pictures to have made it in. It would have yeah. to be left and right. Otherwise, it won't be fair to the other contestants. Yeah. The other yeah, finalists. yeah. Uh, it must be. Yeah. It must be that. It must be that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there's something. Then, if that's the case, I'm not. I'm not so sold as to why they're both not mirrors. Because the thing is, on the black one, the LS logo is yeah. in contrast yeah. to the upper. Ah, and, yeah. See what I'm saying? And then, you know... Like I'm the inversion. Thinking, and then the, it should be an inversion then, because the D-ring on the black one is has a contrast, whereas on the, on the, on the one on the right, on the, on the grey one, or the silver one, whatever it is, um, doesn't. That's the, that's the thing. I mean, I, I think that it, it's nearly there, but it's not quite. Um, mm. I mean, I get why the logo on the heel of the black one is what it is, because it's a night time. And then you got the colourful one on the on the on the gray, on the silver one, but then I would have tonalised the silver on the silver one as well. Okay. You know yeah. I mean? No. I mean. Um. Yeah. This. This is definitely that that nighttime. It's a great idea. It's a great idea to do a black reflective and a white and and, and a silver yeah. reflective on each foot. No one's yeah. done that before. Yeah. That's would that's have been cool. would have been amazing to have these colourways and uh, reflective material also Ooh. like three M. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 
I think the black has a 3M detail on oh, the... Oh, no, yeah, it says use, use of reflective mm -hmm. fabric, but in black, so, yeah. So it has it, it on the bottom, it, it, it has yeah. it. Me, personally, I just think they could just done just leaving it with the, just with the black silhouette and not even touching the like the, the lighter tone. I think, mm -hmm. obviously, to Kitch's point, unless you're going to really do it like for like, I just think yeah. don't touch it. And I think the black, to me, to be honest, stands, it stands bold and it stands true. Mm -hmm. And just looking from like the detail, I think it's actually a mixed texture. Uh, oh, yeah. upper it yeah, looks yeah. a bit like i don't know like a maybe like a new buck maybe leather or something with with kind of like a suede so i definitely like if it is mixed texture i definitely like it for that for sure okay yeah. Yeah, nice. well one thing would have been one one thing would have been good to to follow on from coco's point is what are the materials where are the materials where is the reflective material and where is the other materials yeah or or have they done what they've done to sort of signify, you know, without ruining the panelling in, you know, and, and so the whole thing is up. I mean, you know, they, they need to they need to clarify what they're doing, really. But, I mean, I have to say, that I don't know what's going on with the insoles either, by the way, because yeah. I don't know if that's yeah. because of the, by the Photoshop, yeah. um, uh, mm. the Photoshop um, options or what. Mm. But uh, one would hope that if you were going to do a contrast, what would be, what would be kind of cool is the white, the, the silver shoe has the black insole and the black has a white insole or something, yeah. you know, yeah. like that, just to make it mirror, mirror on the inside. Do you know cool. what I mean? Okay. They mirror, mirror on the outside and how do they mirror, mirror on the inside differently? Yo, these are mad. Definitely colourful. Definitely. These are pretty these crazy. Are crazy. Yeah, definitely I'm crazy. I don't know. For me, it's, it's somewhat like child's play. Like, I was I think primary colours are used. Yeah. Um, and obviously like with those like kind of eighties, nineties like revival shapes. Yeah. Kind of like on the hill on the hill box kind of thing. I think it's cool. Um yeah, it's definitely kind of nostalgia when I look at it. Yeah. Sure. These are these look like something like Dee and Ricky would have done. Mm. Yeah, I right? agree. You for know? me, the shoe is totally also like a like you said, Coco, uh, child's play. Like you, you, the colors you would see in a, a, a child's uh, play box or something like that. But for me personally, it's a little bit too much. Uh, I uh, it kind of reminds me of children's uh, shoes from the eighties. You had yeah. a lot of children's shoes. I mean, from other brands as well, where you had like uh, uh, multicolored uh, bottom soles and things like that. So this is really for me a kid's shoe. Cool. Yeah, it's a very youthful shoe. I, I can see this matching up with some polo or some hill figure, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you know? like heritage archive pieces. Yeah, 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 yeah but... with the blocking, etc. you know, being like that. Um, but, you know, these are very interesting, you know what I mean? It'd be interesting to see these in a, in a, in a proper rendition, just yeah. to get yeah. more of a flavour of what they're, what they're trying to... I definitely to think, though, that, that the blue on, like, kind of, like, where the um, laces are and the toe box, I, f I feel like it's probably suede, just looking at it. Yeah, and maybe be leather. Then with yeah. the back, the back. You want it to be suede. Was, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Kind of, I think it needs to be. And then with the with the like print at the back, I think it might be kind of like that plastic kind of like heat press almost, like mm -hmm. emboss kind of thing. But yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I would say I agree with you guys. The whole Charles Play thing. I definitely think um the colors are, they pop. You know, I'm a colorful person, so and I'm wearing red. So um yeah. Yeah, I, I would I would say yeah these are these are not too bad. Group two culture. Uh, oh, I forgot there were so many in there. Yeah, two. culture. Four, okay, right? Yeah. Look, five. Yeah, yeah. Renee. I think right. I think it's between the first two. I think it's between this one and, and then the, 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 hiking, the, the hiking one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we've it's we've so defined so that. Thing. I don't know. Tie dye is actually my fa my favorite. I think. Tie dye is <laughs> dope as well. Tie dye. But I don't know if the tie dye has been realized as much in terms of the concept you know they just put the colors on there and boom okay where yeah, are you going what are you i think What's it? You know, when you go deep in, be like i think when you go deep into culture looking at this i don't know what culture this pertains to mm. do you mean it's very lucid so whereas i feel like the first two as kiss said it maybe has a bit more of like a backstory to it a little bit you can kind of read into it a bit clearer Mm -hmm. But I do really like the the black with the 3M detail. I do like that. But then if yeah. if the other foot the silver, then I don't think it would do it for me. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe if we just go between the first two. First two. Okay. For the sake of it, yeah. Julia, what do you think? Yeah. I agree. Now, I agree with yeah. you. It's so tight between these two because the yeah. concepts are so deep between both of them, yeah. right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You've got the whole nighttime thing going on. And as Julia said, it reminds it evokes images of like, you know, urban environment with the rain and the neon popping the from, mm -hmm. from the lights and other signs, etc. Yeah. You know. Um, whereas the other one with the mountaineering and everyone knows me and what I what I, I love my mountaineering stuff, you know, yeah. my 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 um Hagloffs, my North Face, you know, and all that kind of stuff, Arcteryx and that. Mm -hmm. that it's it's a real tight one you know i wish you could make both of them you know i wish, I, I, I think I wish everyone fun. could be a winner here yeah, yeah. okay so let's let's make a decision because we haven't got much time uh, um, I'll go for this one the first one no the second i'm gonna it's so tight it really is but if you go and look at the first one when you think like night or whatever for me it even reminds me of like puddles yeah. like maybe even like traffic lights in a far yes. like this to me just has so much more yeah kind of like mentally that is going on whereas the other one it's quite what you see is what you get there's no like in-depth i don't look at it and be like, oh what's this about whereas the other thing when, when it comes to when up. when it comes to neck snapping um attributes it has to be the first one okay. the first one just draws you in you're just like what yeah what's going I mean, on there? the first one storytelling that's what it does it, it has a story I which i want which i want to know more about i agree yeah. It makes you more curious about yeah. what's behind the design. Oh, okay. yeah. So is that you? I'm going to go with this one. I'm going with the first one again. It's like almost like the first one, the first one. I'm yeah, I know. So is that yeah, a unanimous decision? Sure, but... Yes. Okay, yeah. good. Winner, Yola. Pick yourself up. Yola. Yola, Yola. Yo, cool. Yola. Okay, Heritage. Okay, let's go. So this is S. Wow. Um, Heritage. Thoughts. Wow. Peru, Peru, Peru. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you want to read the inspiration? Yeah, let me read it. Yeah, I, I can't. Sorry, it's cut off. So yeah, uh, I can't see either. I thought. Mm. Yeah, can you see at the top? Uh, no, the top well, is. So, just, basically, it says magazine buyer. as the first collaboration between a sportswear brand and an industrial designer. The tanker is a classic court sneaker with an opulent tread. Um, expressive sole unit on an original branded Jacquard label, bringing sophistication and finesse to the court. That's yeah, what that copy says. That, that's saying, really but bad. But that, that bio is, is on all of them, but there's nothing from the designer itself. Obviously, it pertains oh, okay. to yeah. some sort of country. Yeah. Whether they're, whether uh, they're, yeah Paraguay. Whether they're, they're yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, yeah. Yeah, Paraguay. It's, they've, mainly it's for Paraguay. Um, for me, uh, just from without knowing anything else, it would be, n n I don't think oh. so. What, what this was is very regional. I mean, the thing is, I've seen, we've seen like graphics like this, um, you know, with 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 sort of mapping on a, on a sneaker upper before I think Jeff Staple was the first sneakers, to do yeah. navigation. So I've got to give shout out to Jeff Staple. But uh, yo, um, I like it. But uh, how does this? I guess this this is a very personal thing to the designer. This is where the designer is from, and you know what? It does look very striking. You know, all white with those red pops. Yo, you're going to see that from a mile off. Then you'll see the graphic when you, as you get drawn closer to the shoe. So it'll be interesting to see how this shoe looks from further afield. Yeah. Especially you know, when you don't see now, the black outlining of the parts of the shoe, which you see now on the graphic. I think once the shoe is uh, being produced, you wouldn't see the black outlining. I yeah. think that's the, how it's made, which would, would make the shoe yeah. much, much cleaner also. Mm -hmm. What's what yeah, second foot? Is this tennis? Is this the, with just a tennis? Tennis inspiration, yeah. Tennis, yeah. Like, I don't know much about tennis, but nor do I know much about the country, but I don't really get how they mm. kind of gear up together. Do you mean like, it's not, it's not like they put Wimbledon on, on, the, on the sneak, which I already would then yeah. have, like, know yeah. the correlation. Okay, so what's our thoughts on this one? I like it. I don't know, something about it I do, yeah. I do like. Maybe it's just because the clarity this has it's just so clean. Like I know I can see the tennis balls automatically. Yeah. And I like the fact that they stay true to the colours of the tennis balls. They didn't change it, mm -hmm. but instead they added like these blue accents. And from afar, it's polka dots. And I can't help but go about trends, but trends this season, polka dots are in are in at the moment. So I definitely yeah. think it kind of definitely plays uh, strongly into yeah um, what's coming for the rest of the year. You know what I mean? And what Coco's saying is kind of cool because right. the thing I've never seen polka dots done with tennis balls before. And it's an obvious idea. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. Not Maybe repeat it again on like the heel, but I or like you know the, the back tongue, but I don't know the whole thing tennis ball. Like it, yeah, I want I wanna go on out. I wanna go on out. I wanna go one hundred. Oh, I, I I like it. You know, he's taking similar inspiration from you though, mm, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. Because 
there's Boris Becker right there. Yeah. And uh, your collaboration was inspired by Becker. Yeah. And it's a very <laughs> collaboration it was. Yeah. And a big job yeah. here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, and, and look at the silver medal pendant. It looks like a tennis racket. Did anyone tennis say right, it? It is. Yeah, I saw that. It's it is, yeah. Oh, right. Like a keychain. Yeah. 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 Which is kind of cool. And then the second, and this comes with two pairs of laces as well. So that's kind of See, cool. I, I rate that as well. The fact it comes with multiple laces is, yeah, is yeah. definitely cool. Well, and the thing is that that will look very striking. Um, that will look very striking again from afar. It'll be one of those shoes. There's a lot of characteristics that a lot of these shoes are sharing that we've been, we've been discussing. But the fact is, if you look at them from far off, you'll be seeing them way before you actually know what the hell they are when they get yeah. close to you. Which is great. Before, I have to admit, I wouldn't know what to wear with this shoe. I was just going to say, <laughs> denim. Light denim. Oh, no. Yeah. Old yeah. school light, light, light denim. denim. Yeah, you're right. Double yeah. washer and like oversized jeans yeah. turned oh, up. Chinos. Oh, chinos. You're the stylist, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'd wear camo with them and I'd make it work somehow. Yeah, you, wear, you wear camo with very pinkish, but it's all good. You do make it work. Okay, cool. Moving on, moving on quickly. Okay, this one now. Okay, so this is inspiration from tennis as well. So it's got the... So I want to say something about the insoles from yeah. the shoe. Yeah. I've always, like, uh, whenever I was asked to uh, put my IDs on a shoe, I always wanted to do uh, photo, photo printed insoles. Because yeah. I think for me, that's the ultimate uh, reference, hidden reference you can put in a shoe, mm -hmm. bottom sole or insole. Mm -hmm. And uh, I love this idea, but it's always a problem uh, with uh, picture rights. Picture rights, You yeah. will never be able to get to, to yeah. do that, you know? Unless so, they've done an illustration of it, then, then you're right. I exactly. You. So I think yeah. that's unfortunately a deal breaker, but probably the, the aspect that I like most about this uh, shoe. Also, I love the tumbled leather on that. I'm, I'm a sucker for a tumbled leather. It has a little bit of, the, of an elephant uh, yeah, skin okay. kind yeah. of uh, um, texture. So I really yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. So totally. And in fact I like the tennis rackets on the heel on the heel yeah. tab as well. Yeah, that's, yeah, nice that's true yeah. actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, which is great. And the uh, the embossing on the uh, on the side panels as well with the LS logo, that's a good look because it's really in general this model has really nice uh, um details. Like yeah. you see the golden uh, lace tips and like I said the insole uh, printing and also this logo they made for the uh, heel tap I think is, is yeah. uh, exactly. great detail. Out, yeah. out of all the designs that we've currently seen, I think this is the truest essence of the original tanker. You know, mm -hmm. the DNA of the tanker is what yeah. we're seeing in in a sort of modern version and execution. Mm -hmm. Um so the thing is it's it's taken what what happened in eighty two and it's brought it now, um, yeah. you know, to eighty uh, you know twenty eight years later. Cool. Um, twenty eight years later, or is it thir thirty eight years? No, it's later? thirty. It's thirty. Thirty eight years later. 30, wow. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. So um, I'm sorry. Can I just one? interject quickly? I think this is cool. Like, I was just reading just like the inspo or whatever, and like on mm. the tongue they've used like yellow mesh, which okay. I think obviously plays really well into the whole sporting kind of element that breathability. Mm -hmm. So I think just from that and standpoint... Tennis ball as well, isn't it? It's the tennis ball, isn't it? The yellow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even think that. I thought immediately the apparel. Mm -hmm. And just like the oh, yeah. of like, do you yeah. mean, of like kind yeah, of the technology the they're yeah. using the apparel. Mm -hmm. And I think it's cool how they've obviously got like the, the less, I suppose it's like embossed into the, into the leather. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, it's cool. I don't necessarily know if I like the contrast of like the ivory, the ivory sole mm -hmm. with then the white midsole, then with that, that kind of like off white or like grayish kind of upper. I yeah. kind of like things just for me just to be kind of one or the other. But yeah, I agree cool. with you on that totally. I think it's a difficult colorway to pull off because if you put an uh, ivory next to a bright yellow like that, mm. it's, it's going to look a bit wild. Kind of yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. And last but not least, Andre. Okay. I see. Right, wait, yeah. Time. Hold on. Uh, soft beige mesh, light but polyester, city blue mesh. You put wool on the shoe. Yeah, that's dope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's dope. That's, and that's bad for a tennis shoe, putting wool on a tennis shoe. <laughs> you know? Yeah, but you know, the wool comes kind of the closest Very to wool. the, to the kind ball. of material you have on the yeah. tennis ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. that's true. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think that's the inspiration by, behind this. I, I think for me, I think I'd be a bit hypocritical if I commented on the last one with regards to the ivory and white and didn't say anything yeah. about this. It's, <laughs> it's, just, it's just the inverted thing. So for me, yeah. Yeah, no, this wouldn't this wouldn't be it, unfortunately, for me. No, I, I think these are dope. I think these are I yeah, think these are clean. Yeah, I think these are clean. Um, yeah, I like I like the fact that out of all of the ones we've seen, they've taken the actual 
materials and put them into the into the design you know, yeah. That's, yeah yeah exactly. i also agree i think it's a daring material mix especially yeah. putting a, a wide mesh on the uh, tongue which we haven't seen so far i think uh, also mesh in the uh, in, inside lining is always uh, a plus for for comfort yeah. it's always super comfortable yeah um, but i'm not too sure actually about uh, this wool and this colored toe box uh, together mm -hmm. i think it makes the shoe very heavy and heavy in the front okay yeah, I, I think it balances though. I think you got the dark to the, go and fade into the light. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. We've seen that on different shoes before, mm. um, where, the, where, the, where the tones sort of like, you know, meld into each other, you know, like Omega Flames and all that kind of stuff. But the thing is, with, um, with this, I, I actually think the colors balance out. This is a very clean looking shoe. This is a very grown up looking shoe. Yeah. I'd say it's the very grown. Like, I can kind of see. I don't know, like my dad repping it kind of thing. Yeah, so. I, I think that's the thing, you know, yeah. you, you'd look at some Asian B-boy to be wearing it or, you know, as Coco says, her dad flexing it in the garden on the barbecue. <laughs> you know what I mean, please invite me around anytime, Coco. And, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, but, you know, I, I, I like this. And I, for, for me, I think the ivory sort of beige works because it doesn't clash with anything. It mm -hmm. actually complements the other colors. Mm -hmm. um, it's, a very, it's a very grown up shoe. And I, and I have to say, yeah, as, as you say, Franklin, you know, given you and, and, and all of you have actually said, you know, the, the choice of materials and the mixed materials, it's a very inventive thing. Mm, 100%. Inventive. Heritage. Um, so yes or no? No. For me, this is a, I, I love this one because for me, it's a strong tennis heritage, it's not to the court, but to the uh, origin of a less. And I love the red yeah. highlights. Uh, I could see somebody wearing this actually also on the court. Okay. That's it. It's, you know, as Julia said, if you get rid of the, the, the panel in lines, which aren't going to be on the, you know, you wouldn't see it like that um, in, a, in a real version. They're just for anyone to design it so that you can, you know, you can, you know, you know the areas that you're dealing with mm -hmm. um, and to give you visualization in that regard. Yeah. Um, I actually think that these will look pretty hot. You know what, right? You know how polo is all graphics and stuff? Yeah. And mm -hmm. they crazy mm -hmm. stuff like that. And you know how I love that. Yeah. Um, I, I think this is my favorite one. Okay. I really so, so you do for this one, Mel, no? Mm -mm. Okay. Yes or no? Yeah. For me, not. For you, yes, Coco. Yeah, just because I, I just like the little, the little accent, like the little kind of like tennis pendant, like the jewel laces. And like this is to me when I purchase something, I'm spending money. I want to know I'm getting the okay, full, sure. the full breadth of the offering. Yeah. I feel like this sneaker just does that for me. Yeah. And this yeah. is a happy shoe, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Can't help but smile, right? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, yes or no? I think without the, if it was a different, if it was a clear sole, or if it was, if it was a white sole, I think the ivory really, as as it's been discussed, really sort of takes diminishes what this could have been actually. You know? I agree. Yeah. Despite the, all the beautiful details on the on yeah. this uh, idea, the yeah. aglets, the you know the aglets, the 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 lace jewel, the dubery. You know yeah. all that kind of stuff. It was all looking pretty money, but it's just how is that soul going to work with that upper? I don't get it at all. You know, but no, I think no. The gum soul would have worked. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Gum soul. Gum soul always works. Okay, so it's it's a, it's a, it's a no to this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes or no, guys? Yeah. For no. me, it's a yes. It was so. It was so close. It yeah. was so close. Me, this is, when you yeah, just, this is my favorite. When you just look at the first one, I just yeah. know the first one just looked pops hard. Do you know what I mean? That okay. Little, so, I, red, boom. Cool. It's, it's your face from afar. Cool. So, that, way, that, um, you've got, that you've got to get close to to know what's going on. Mm. Okay. See, but you still don't know what's going on with the first one. Like, you, you know that it pops in terms of color, color play, but outside yeah. of that, I'm still looking like, what's that map on your foot? Like, I don't, yeah. it's not that it won't, it's, it's not going to be, as I said, like the story isn't going to be as apparent from the offset. Whereas when you see well, him, that, like, that's good. Stores, yeah, but it's good that the story isn't apparent because you got to go on a voyage of discovery. You got to know your stuff. Yeah, you know but I mean? I'm not Christopher Columbus. So I don't like all that stuff like that. That just doesn't like do it for me. I just want clean cut tennis balls in your face. Yeah. It's what it says on the tin. That's it. That's all I need. I love the passion. Um, well, sorry, I know we're split now, but... We're split. Okay, cool. Okay, let's just go back through it again quickly. Just yes or no? Yes. Yes for me. Ye yes, yes or for no? Me as well. Franklin, does your vote count? Uh, well, you guys are more the expert, if I'm honest. So I can't, <laughs> I can't be, because I, I already have something happening, I, 
I'm, I'm kind of. You've got to say impartial. I get yeah. it. This is a, this is going to be a no. This well, I'm at numbered, no. so I yes. so it's no. two to one, isn't it? Okay, so. then that's a no. Then yes or no? No. For me, this is a yes, but I guess the original is this one. Well done to S. Gula. Okay, we got we got to move very fast now. Um, okay, so coming on to the fourth category, together, together, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's go. Whoa, Whoa. Nemo. Nemo, yeah. Okay. Let's Nemo, do it. Isn't it? Okay, yeah. Music, Bo Nemo. Jackson. Together, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there's no description for the rice to Nemo. It's just got it's got fishy. I mean, it looks like finding Nemo because of oh, the yeah. fish. But um, no, it's not. It's, not, not a, it's basically you know doing a, a cartoon characterization of a fish, but it's no copyright infringement here. All right, cool. No, yeah, true. It's very true. bold. This is very bold indeed. Very bold. I agree. It's, it's bold. I think obviously without knowing the backstory, I imagine the togetherness is like the school fish. of fish yes. being together. I, I imagine. So. So yeah. yeah, I think it's cool. I think obviously, if all the white bits of the upper uh, um, a leather and then like the black for me would be nice in like a soft suede. Yeah, I think it could land quite nicely. And then I don't know. It would just depend on the print of the fishes. Like, mm. do you mean like, like yeah, how they're looking? Is it screen press? Like, what is the gist with it? Um, but yeah, it's a cool shoe. I probably wouldn't have done that kind of beigey behind the fish. It's a bit mm. of a random kind of color insert. But yeah, I like the I like the boldness of it though. Yo. Whoa. That's a lot of description. Yeah. Wow. I remember seeing these on your Instagram. Friend. Yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. These are fire to me. I'm I'm just gonna be I, honest. I, no, these, these are fire. fire to me too. These are fire. That's just me. The, only, the only thing that I was always a bit off about was the green soft leather on the on the heel. Mm. Well right? I think I think the concept so the concept behind these is the NHS mm -hmm. and um the the designer Hello. used the designer used the, every color that NHS um, staff wear from all over the world. No oh, word. Yeah. Well, medical staff. Basically. Medical staff. That's yeah. a really nice story behind yeah. it to yeah. bring yeah. that uh, idea of togetherness. Yeah. Yeah. I and mean, I was going to say you can't really argue with that in light of what's happening like now. Like, there's no. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to comment. Like, there's nothing I can say. Yeah. And yeah. The backstory. I automatically. I'm like, oh well, that explains it then. Like, and I kind of put what I think aside and look at it more from a consumer point of view, mm. it definitely pulls kind of, you know, on the, I suppose, the, the heartstrings of us all at the moment. So yeah. for that, yeah, I commend the design for sure. Yeah, well, I can say it uh, for me personally, this shoe does nothing mm -hmm. color wise, combi color combination wise, but that's a personal taste. Mm. And I totally uh, agree with uh, you that the story really brings uh, um, the yeah. shoe together in a sense that uh, it justifies this crazy get-together of colors yeah, yeah. 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 I, I i agree okay oh, that, that's a hard, i like hard... the, i like the feeling of iridescence on this shoe it's yeah, like yeah, the effect yeah. of an iridescent material but just made with colors i really like that it's super oh, yeah. clean and yeah. super pastel no, i think yeah. I, I think these are dope um the only thing is i i, I don't know how it says together. That's just my, my it's just for the concepts. Well, I think for so, the together, this is the colours. The colours, okay, like, yeah. You pull together like the, the teal and then that kind of, that pinky kind of yeah. thing and you make that blue in the middle. Mm. So it's kind of how the colours marry. So yeah. I get it, for me, it's it's a cute shoe. Yeah. I don't know, I, I could see, like, I know that like Kish would rep the hell out of this and yourself, Franklin, but yeah. for me, I just don't know whether like other men mm. necessarily would, would wear it and would know how to put I'd it on. I'd wear that. Yeah. I said no. She said, she said. She oh, said. Okay, you, okay. said. I yeah. said apart from you two, yeah. like I don't know if everyone would have the confidence to pull it off. And for me, yeah. as, as a female, they're not the colours that I would necessarily be wearing on my feet. Oh. So yeah, it's it's nice though, but I don't okay. know what it what it, what it kind oh. of captures. I, gonna, I would wear these with grey sweatpants. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to full screen now quickly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. um, well, okay. Yeah. They, and the thing is, when you look at LS and, the, and their design heritage and the colours that they've used and employed over the years, especially mm -hmm. with their ski wear, et cetera, as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, obviously, this All is a light blue. issue. But the thing Definitely. is, it, it just evokes those sort of images as well. So, yes or no? Mm -hmm. No, nah, I'm not into that. Okay, that's a oh, straight thing to know. Okay. I don't know. I'm 50-50. Okay. I don't know. So that's no. probably a no. Um, yes for me. Yes, no, no, me. yes for me. Yeah. 
hundred percent. Yeah. Okay, it's between this one and the next one for me. Oh, I don't know. I'll go with this one. Mm. See, that's the thing. Like, if it, like I don't, I, I'm not a fan really of any. The first one I would be more so personally that I would wear, but mm. because of the message that this entails, I would say the second one. Like, I, I have to agree. The second two. one wins. The the whole concept, the reverence, yeah. that giving the togetherness, the whole aspect yeah. is really. It's really adhered to the, the, the essence of the brief. Yeah. You know, it's about togetherness. And it's about, we wouldn't be together if it wasn't for these people either. Mm. Yeah, I think you second one. You know, cool. the, the sacrifice, what is done by these people who work together. You know, medical teams aren't on their own. You know, you don't have a doctor. The doctor has a team. Cool. You know, the okay. nurse has a team. Okay. The care work so, has a team. So, it's all so, about togetherness. So, so has so Paisley's one? Yes and yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I'd say. Okay, cool. So pastel, last group, pastel, let's go, let's go. Straight into pastel. Wow. Those are crazy. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Those yeah. are it's very wow. old school. Old school style, like properly. Yeah. To me actually, this actually reminds me of like the old school scrubs that like the doctors and stuff used to wear. Mm -hmm. Like doing oh, yeah, the, right. the nurses used to wear. But looking at the graphic, it's actually got like hearts. Heart mm. and diamond. Yeah. So I think I think that's I think that's quite cool. Um, yeah. The colorway again is insane. Like, unless you're gonna ID a pair, I don't think that any kind of sneaker brand would just drop these as a general release. So yeah. I think yeah, that's I think mad. Cool. Yeah, they put a lot of design detail in it in it, and I, yeah. I think that's the, I think I, I I think that's dope. They've also you know, explained the different panels, the materials that they want to use there. Yeah, in, you know, the, the Pantones. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Julia. That's, that's I, I like this one also. I think it's a, a um, pretty nice color uh, scheme altogether. Cool. Yeah, I like it. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, just quickly going on because of time. Um, this one. Mm. Whoa. This Whoa. is going to be like the... Uh, um, I'm going to the fridge right now. I'm going to get me some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream. Okay. The <laughs> color. Yeah, 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 I really like, like how they... Too. I really like how they kind of interpreted uh, the original LS colors in a pastel version. Yeah. So I quite like that, that you have this uh, um, egg, egg yellow kind of uh, hinting towards the orange from LS. I like the, uh, I, I generally like the colorway, I have to say. Mm -hmm. Cool. I don't know, I would imagine looking at the application, no, no, sorry, ignoring the application, but I think it would land really well if it was like watercolor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Almost, rather than like a bold, like leather, for example, I just think like a watercolor effect like in that same colorway, it mm. could work. But as like Kiff said, it's very kind of like ice cream cone, totally. do you know what I mean? Like kind of strawberry upper with yeah. the sky for the soul. I don't know, like it's just a bit of like a, a, a mismatch yeah. for me. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, quickly moving on. This one. Mm. Oh, I eat like dessert as well. Dessert. Oh, yeah. I, could, I could eat them. <laughs> yeah, we eat them. Them. Eat them. You deserve pastel colours, yeah, definitely. Is that like raspberry um, or something? Like very cakey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I know, no, I I know, and, and they, they seem quite effeminate just looking at them, feminine, like yeah. just for the pink, they like, seem very effeminate. So I don't know for the masses how that would actually kind of like land. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm chatting my cherry blossom like colourway. I'm chatting, my, I'm chatting dipset on that. I'm going Cameron with that. Cameron, Cameron, Cameron with yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, the pink, the pink yeah, yeah, that's hard. Like a, a cherry blossom colorway, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, uh, just see the last one. Hold on. Yep, yeah, last one here. Ooh. Yeah, see th these ones. Yeah, they're they're cold. And this is I it. Actually, that's I it. actually like the ivory soul. I think because it's it's all over. Oops, like, yeah, it's one solid it, color. Yeah, it's one solid, and they panelled it against the grey and the lilac. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's got reflective material on it as well, you know. Yeah, the on, three on the heel tab. What uh, I like about this shoe colorway actually is that although it's in the category pastels, it not really taps into the classic pastels that as we see in like gray mm -hmm. and beige and purple. It's not like the pastel like the ones before. You had all these candy colors, you know. That's what yeah. I like. It's a little yeah. bit more of a serious pastel version. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's an adult. It's an adult pastel. Yeah. Yeah. Adult pastel. Yeah. Adult yeah. pastel. Yes or no? No. No. Yes, no. yes for me. Yes for me. For me also. Really? Yes for me. Really? Yeah. 
I'm yeah. surprised. I don't know. A part of me likes it, but yeah, nah. It's the last one just bangs. So okay, I think the last one bangs too. Let yeah. me let's go through it though again. Okay. okay. Let's... Yes or no? These are no. cold too. I don't know. They Wait. could be cold, but I think the They're way cold, the person right. applied it, that like I like detail, and that to me is kind of like slapdash. I can't really wholeheartedly respect this one compared to the others, just because I don't know anything. But also the way it's just been applied, I can't. It looks like you've coloured it on the phone, right? Yeah, no, like... I think, I think basically, it looks like a watercolour of a shoe. That's what they've done. It's a, it's a mock-up, isn't it? They're not expecting but this what, shoe. How would it look if they would actually do it like it's coloured here? That would be quite interesting, actually. Yeah, it would be, it'd be like, yeah. Yeah, it'd be it's like... Josh Fides Converse that came out had that sort of cartoon yeah. sort of up mm. to them, you see? Yeah. And it yeah. can't be done. It's if good. the shoe was looked like that, mm. right, and you could actually make it look like that, maybe you can. Oh. That would be so, very, very sorry, interesting. Sorry, guys. We're running, like out of time. we're running out of time, so we've got to make oh, yeah. a decision. Okay, okay, okay. Yes or no? Okay, okay. No. Nah, 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 nah. Yes or no? No. Yes or no? Yes. Ooh. So, so we're, we're two for two, basically. Uh -huh. Yeah. I need to have a look at the top. I need to have a look at the top one again, okay? Yes or no? I, I, see, okay, so for me... When we're looking at one of one and what... See, the thing is, the ones, the, the last one, I can see that coming out and selling. Yeah, general. Yeah. yeah, right? General. Yeah. But when it comes to collab level, yeah. right, this oh, one, knows. this one might be the one. That's, this is, for me, they, they took it extra, the, the fade, the pastel fade. I'm going to go with this one, then. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. Because the thing is, at first, well, I wasn't sold on this. But the more I'm looking at it, the more it's talking to me. And this is the more interesting of all of them. Do you know what I mean? But I like that also, and I would want the side panel to be satin, actually, with this kind of print. Mm. Satin with that print would be killer. I agree. Okay. Right? Absolutely killer. I so, uh, you know, I would shout. The, the one that Coco likes, all, which I'm I'll say this on. one, Franklin, for time's sake. Are you sure? No, are you sure? Okay. No, no, yeah, and actually, as I'm sitting here, I've just noticed that the, the heel logo, they've actually done it, they've changed the colours and done the colours in the colourway of, of the sneaker. Yeah. So yeah. those details like that, I have to kind of give kudos yeah. where it's due. So oh. yeah, this one. Okay, so oh. this one wins. Yep. Congratulations. Well done. Congratulations oh. to whoever okay. it is. So yeah, so the winners will be um, announced um, via the less socials. I just want to say a massive, 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 massive thank you to all of you guys for joining joining me today. Um, Thanks to for having us. us. I want to Thank shout you. all of the winners as well. Is there, if there's any last words you want to say? Hey, I, I want to shout every single entrant because we didn't see all of the entries. Yeah, we didn't. And for everyone to do that and show so much creativity. Yeah. And, you know, especially in this, this time, and so much unity as well, you know. I yeah. think everyone's a winner here. Cool. Yeah. Love the positivity of this. Absolutely. Cool. Cool. And super inspiring as well, like I said, with all the entrants. You did an amazing, amazing job. And, yeah, I want to go create now. So Good stuff. No, thank you guys. That has been um, the Together with Aless competition. Um, and yeah, all your winners are going to be announced. Enjoy. Enjoy. They're all going to be made. Congrats, guys. Well, well done. Guys. Good job. Congrats.